Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video, a quite different video, but one that I think is going to be fun to talk about. Love to hear your guys' opinion on it and also maybe informative. We're going to be talking about the best AI in sim racing um, and why, in my opinion, it is actually this right here, iRacing. We're also going to be talking about why AI in sim racing is so hard to do, why a lot of sims struggle with it and still to this day, even if they're still being updated, uh, don't really have a ton of AI updates, and overall, uh, some ideas I have that I think iRacing could really use to capitalize on their amazing AI, but I want to talk about why iRacing and why not some other sims, one in particular. Assetto Corsa Competizione, it is a fantastic sim and its AI are great, but Assetto Corsa, the original, is definitely not known for its AI and I think, think you can tell that the ACC AI are related in a way. They're fantastic, but they do, they just aren't convincing to me. I feel like they do train track quite a lot. They don't really take many lines like this Ferrari is right here, for instance, you can tell they still kind of have that root what first ever AI Assetto Corsa 1 genetics in them. Again, the AI in ACC is very serviceable, especially on higher difficulties. You can have a lot of fun with them and maybe they've changed it and updated it. I haven't done it in quite a little bit, but the AI have always kind of been, they'll defend, but as soon as you get alongside them, they'll kind of just let you go, move out of the way and uh, it can make racing them a little difficult sometimes as I completely understeer off the road. I want to apologize for the not great racing you're about to see. Talking and driving for me is definitely not my strong suit. <laughs> so you're probably wondering, okay, so iRacing has the best AI, Assetto Corsa's AI, not great, R Factor 2's AI, bit better, ACC's AI, Pretty damn good, but not perfect. Automobilista 2, haven't played in a long time. Can't get my CSL DD to work with it, but, you know, last time I played it, it was okay. Why is it so hard? And the truth is, is that they're not human. I, I know, right? I know you need to be told that. But they don't have the same reactions as humans, especially when you're in a car. You're, you're reactive. You're reacting to the feeling of the car. You're reacting to other cars around you. Uh, you know, maybe you could be reacting to other distractions on the road, like a pretty looking tree over there. I don't know. AI, at least at, at right now in the current, current time of 2022, maybe you're watching this in 2032 and things are a little different, but AI aren't human and they are very much on a set path. They can't really deviate off of it. And that tends to lead to a lot of train tracking, or even if they do go down separate paths and say for racing, take different lines, then, you know, there's still, you can still tell that they are on rails. Maybe just those rails have a couple different branching paths. But it's funny because iRacing, the game that is known for multiplayer, probably solely known for multiplayer, some of you maybe not even knew that there was AI in iRacing, um, that they have the best, and I don't know how they've done it, I'm not some uh, AI engineer, uh, but they've done a really good job, and I think where it edges out a set of course of competency on a definitely is its versatility. They have road AI, and they have oval AI. We're not going to be delving into any oval AI right now, uh, but yeah, let's just say that their, their AI for ovals is also very good, and you can definitely race them well iRacing's AI, to me, are pretty damn believable as human beings. I think they're reactive uh, to an extent. I don't, again, I think you're always going to have uh, the stupidity of people, which is why, in my opinion, I do actually enjoy AI racing a little bit more, depending on the situation. Uh, but they're definitely... I feel like they're not on rails. I don't feel like they have lines, per se. I think they've just been told... You know, this is the fastest line around the track. Take that if you can, but besides that, your goal is to win. So if you need to go anywhere else on the track to make an overtake and to win, then do that. And 
I really feel like they take lines that, you know, real humans would take, and sometimes that real humans wouldn't even take. Like, I'm shocked that they're even doing that. I definitely wouldn't expect AI to do it. And they just feel the most organic to me. Like, I don't know many AI that would hold the inside line like that to defend. That is what a real human would do. Trust me. I, uh, I did my fair share of uh, Ferrari races around here this past week. None of them really went well. If you watched my streams, you definitely know. But... You know, that's what real people would do, and I don't think any AI in sim racing would do that. That was perfectly timed. Thank you, Mr. Ferrari. <laughs> so iRacing, the game known for multiplayer, has the best AI. But they're also known for one more thing, and I think it's honestly the saddest reason on that many people probably aren't going to experience the iRacing AI, and that's the cost. iRacing, of course, is known to be very expensive with its... Uh, subscription-based model, the content being very, very expensive uh, compared to literally everything else in sim racing. Um, and I want to propose an idea. Uh, and you guys can tell me what you think, if you don't have iRacing, of course. If you do, then this is kind of null and void to you. Uh, if you do have iRacing, I highly recommend you try out the AI if you haven't already. I want to thank PowerQ, by the way. Uh, for kind of giving me this idea. He made a video on AI racing and I racing and I almost even kind of forgot about it. I've used it before, but uh, really driving them and practicing for the spa 24 hour, uh, I'm really realizing how special these AI are and that they are really top, top notch. We're gonna get this move done around the outside, hopefully. Yes, we will. Oh, he's gonna come back. He Nico Rosberg me. I could have gotten on the power earlier. And he'll hit me. You know what? That's, again, that's real. That's, <laughs> that happened to me many times. They'll do that. Real people will be an ass. And okay, he's kind of moving under braking, but this is a predicament. Uh, <laughs> but I guess we got through it. Very, very human-like reactions. Uh, that was Dale Earnhardt Jr., by the way. So, uh, what's going on, Dale? <laughs> but anyway, I want to propose an idea. Would you, if you don't own iRacing, answer this question. Would you pay, let's see, it's, uh, I think it's about $12 a month. Let's say you get the three-month sub, which is what I personally use until Black Friday. Uh, $33 a month for a normal iRacing sub. Would you pay $10 every three months? for just AI racing. All the content still costs what it costs, everything like that, but for $20 less, you don't get the online experience, which is, you know, that's the AI racing experience. Oh, nice little crash there. The AI make mistakes as well. Guess I should mention that. <laughs> Would you pay $10 every three months to drive the AI? Because I know there's a ton of people who love AI racing and you truly if you've never done this you've never experienced the best AI racing so yeah again everything costs the same cars are still $12 tracks are still 15 but the sub is $20 less every three months uh, you don't get online but you do get the AI would you take it tell me because I think I would uh, I mean I do like online race but for people who don't really have an interest in that, or maybe who don't feel fully confident yet uh, going online, this is a fantastic way to practice because, again, these AI are very, very realistic. Like, if you covered up the names, I would guess that these are real people. Like, I couldn't tell you, oh yeah, that's AI 100%. So, yeah, I don't know. I think that this AI is absolutely fantastic. You guys can tell me your experience uh, with iRacing AI, as well as tell me your experience with ACC AI. I haven't tried it like fully in a little bit, but last time I checked, it stood, still did feel a little bit like train tracky. Uh, but again, maybe they've updated it. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, if you have iRacing and you haven't tried the AI, I highly recommend you try it again. Road and oval, not every single car and track has AI support, but definitely, definitely worth it. Uh, if, you know, they have a ton of things. They have NASCAR, uh, for this, they have GT3s, they have prototypes, they have a ton of different stuff. You can do multi-class as well. Uh, the, the possibilities for this AI are truly limitless. Come on, McLaren. Oh, he's got it. Well, okay, we're gonna touch him a little bit. I think that's kind of a bogus 4X, but 
You know, it's not not counting towards my safety rating, which is already shit, so I guess I don't mind. <laughs> but yeah, overall, very raceable AI. I love the AI in this game. I definitely got to use it more. I've been using it a lot to practice uh, for the Spa 12 hour. I promise I'm a lot better when I'm not doing a live commentary. <laughs> Uh, maybe not too much better, I guess, if you've seen my streams, but I'm, I'm, I'm not this bad. But yeah, $10 every three months, would you do it to drive some, uh, drive against the AI in iRacing? I don't know, if I was, if I was a sole AI racer, I think I would, uh, I think I'd have to think about that offer, to say the least. But yeah, this is just a short little video, I guess it wasn't short, it was 10 minutes, but... A fun little video uh, about AI and sim racing, talking about it, talking about iRacing's AI. Um, and yeah, I guess the question of would you uh, would you pay for just an offline only component of iRacing? I think it's an interesting question and we all know that the uh, iRacing devs love money and... Alright, not McLaren, forgot I was there, but... <laughs> there you go. Thank you guys for watching this video. I know it was probably really rambly, but uh, I think I got all the points I wanted out of the way. So, yeah, thank you for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, then uh, definitely tell me in the comments below what you think. And uh, thank you so much for all the support. And if you want to become a channel member, you can for just one dollar a month. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one, guys.